Hey guys, it's Holly and welcome on back to Portal Nights. Yes, I am flying. I am totally flying. This is amazing. So as you guys can tell, the new creative update has just been released on Portal Nights. So I was actually able to open up our island into creative mode. Now I have uploaded this onto the Steam Workshop. If you were curious to have a look at my house, have a bit of a cruise around, it is there for your enjoyment. So, but I'm not really going to go into the creative side of things today. We are actually going to go explore all the new content they have added to this game. So we're going to escape out of here and check that all out. Alrighty, so where I actually want to head to is this one here. So this is Land Lubber's Leap. Geez, that's a mouthful. So in here, we actually have a whole heap of NPCs that we haven't actually gone and seen yet. So we're going to go head there and check that all out. So straight away, we've got a spectral apparition. Hi, can I talk to you? Well met, friend. I see you are no worse for wear after your encounter with the ancient worm. I only wish I could be myself of old so we could have fought him together. Give pause for the next great beast in your path. Is mightier and more dangerous still. The pirate Brinebeard has the totem you need to unlock its portal. Though, alas, he's no longer in Landlubber's Leap. Okay, so you got anything else to say? No, that's it? So he's just obviously just helping us out. I guess he's just guiding us. All right, got some TNT, anything in the wardrobe? Nothing really that we want. All right, let's go through here. So there are meant to be a whole, ooh, meant to be a whole heap of NPCs here. And this is the first mailbox I have ever encountered. Let's have a look in here. Check back later for gifts. All right, so apparently with this new update, they have done it so you can actually come to these letterboxes and receive gifts from them. But they're exclusive gifts. Like you can only get them for a limited amount of time from certain letterboxes, which is pretty cool. Okay, we got someone down over here. So this is Roche. Hi. There's no way I'm going after the Dragon Queen horde. If we need money so bad, we should focus on opening our own pirate restaurant. Ah, that would be a pretty good idea. That'd be kind of cool. And uh, we got Paul's Grave. Small graduating class this year. Gotta remember not to use loaded pistols in dueling class. <laughs> yeah, that's that's probably a good idea. Can I take this? Can I? Oh, I could take the cart. Awesome! Was there anything else there? No, nothing else there, but we we got the carriage. That is cool. All right, who else? Just running around trying to find people at the moment. Where is everyone? Where are you all hiding? I know there is a whole heap of you. Let's actually have a proper look now it's uh, loaded in. So we've got one, two, three, four, five. We got a whole heap. I was gonna count them, but there's, there's just too many to count. All right, so who we got in here? We got Jackie's. Hi, Jackie's, and she's actually a trader. The quality of shoplifting has gone way down since Brian Beard left. The place is going downhill. Ooh, so we got some pirate flags, and we got some barrels. They are cool. All right, we got, ooh, a pirate chest. I wonder if that opens and closes. And we also got those carriages that I just, uh, that I just destroyed. Well, that's pretty handy. All right, going upstairs. Is there anyone hiding up in here, I wonder? Ooh, we can go up further. All right, we'll go out this way first. Ooh, we have Captain Sadia. Hi, and she's got a quest for us. Blast that fat-headed worm, Fenmore. I sent him to find Captain Pickles hours ago. Pickles is the only one who remembers the plan we made to steal the Dragon's Queen's treasure. He's the meeting secretary, you see. Go find Fenmore in the dungeons below. He's cowering somewhere down there. We can hope Captain Pickles is with him. Alrighty, I will find him for you. Oh, in case I forgot to mention it, the dungeon is crawling with the undead who have a thirst for pirate blood. Great, have fun. <laughs> well, thanks for that. You could have told us before I accepted the quest. That's all right, we should be okay. So we wanna go down there. So we got another one that's got a quest too down there. Um, I just want to keep 
exploring at this stage. So I think we're gonna go up. Let's go up here and see if there's anything more. Hiding at the top of this building. This place is massive. All right, so we've made our way all the way to the top and it doesn't appear that there is anything up here. That is okay. I'm just gonna break through a window. And I guess we're just gonna head back down. So she said they were down in the dungeons. Oh, I can actually see someone down over there. Let's go, let's go see if we can make our way over this way. Hi, who are you? This is a little, little dude down here. This is Hassan the Hunter. Hi, Hassan. I've heard about you. You bested the ancient worm, didn't you? We sure did. A Syrian maid shattered my copper bow. Could you help me make another? We sure will. I'm not gonna do it right now, but we, we will do it in, in a later date. I knew I could count on you, everyone said so. Well, that is great. Nice to see that we have a good reputation. What on earth is that thing down over there? What are they? Hang on, they're like hollow nights, but it's not night time. Ooh. Master Gunner Morgan, hi. So now that you've unlocked the secret to our advanced pirate technology, I'll need you to build us a new cannon and place it atop the wall near the others. All right, so we need to build a cannon as well now. Hurry now, you never know when these bilge-sucking scallywags will go off half-cocked and get us attacked. We just gotta go get some wood and some copper ore. All right, we can do that. I wanna go see what these guys are. So these are hollow princes, but they look like pirates. Oh, well, they got a little knife and they got a little, a little gun. All right, take these guys out. They shouldn't be here, it is, it is daytime. So we got Gallo's Grace up there. He doesn't look very happy at all. Can I get up to you? Ooh, there we are. Hi, Gallo's Grace. Let's have a chat see. Plague sees me. I've only a few things left to do before I can officially join the ranks of this here pirate crew. I need to walk the plank, yet I'm deathly afraid of water. Can you please jump in the well for me? I don't want to be a pirate in training forever. Alrighty. Go on then. There's a pirate anchor at the bottom of the well. You have to bring it to me if I'm to pass the exam. Don't worry about these two. Cheating is encouraged in pirate school. <laughs> All right, so he wants us to jump in the well and go get, go get the anchor. All righty. Oh, there is no water in here. <laughs> there is like no water in here. Let's let's pick that guy up. So that's kind of that's kind of silly that uh, he wanted us to jump into the well when there isn't really a well here. All right, is there anything else here? No, there is not. Okay, so I guess I'm gonna have to go back to the landing pad. All right, buddy, we jumped into your well. That didn't really have any water in there. You were, you would have been perfectly fine. And here is your anchor. Thanks. Here, yeah, I paid for this reward with part of my graduation money. He's going to give us 1,570 XP and 65 gold. Thank you very much. Can I take you with me? No, I can't. Dang. All right. Let's keep on traveling through. Ooh. Now Paul's grave has a quest for us. Yes. Thanks for helping us out with the trainee. We've got a little problem of our own on our hands, actually. We're supposed to be throwing a big party for the new graduates, but our stash of turnip juice got robbed by fallen pirates. Oh no, not the turnip juice. <laughs> Can you get it back from them? You might also find some of it buried around the island. We kind of lost our map. Alrighty. Phew, thanks. We've really got our hands full with the upcoming pirate obstacle course. It's 50% of a student's grade. Okay, so we're going, I think we need to go down because we're looking for Captain Fenmore. Ooh, I wonder, can we take these two now? Ah, uh, no, I can't. It still just gives us chilies. darn -de darn All right, what else we got in here? All right, no one hiding in here. Okay. 
I'm kind of lost. Ooh, hi, this is Mary. Hi, Mary, she's a trader. You're not going to ask me for a peg leg, are you? I swear, if I make one more of those things. <laughs> okay, so she's got some classic furniture in here. Alrighty. Well, thank you very much, but I don't need any of that right now, Mary. Can I take your workbench, though? I will take that. Thank you. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry, I'm such a thief, but I suppose we are in the pirate island, so it's probably okay that I'm a bit of a thief here. Um, I'm still looking for these dungeons. Just heard someone say hello. Where are you? I can hear you. Oh, it was possibly Frank the farmer that was saying hello. Hi, Frank. My family has always worked on the land. No fracture's gonna change that. Let's uh, let's see what you have. So he's just got some seeds and a hoe, but it looks like we can actually take him. I don't know if I've got this one yet. So we're gonna take Frank the farmer with us. I'm not too sure. We may already have Frank back at the house. Ooh, hi, this is Larry Moore. Hi, Larry Moore. A quality training dummy is an investment in yourself. Use a baler, hey, or rotten skeleton at your own risk. So he's got, oh, he's got a monkey. He's got a monkey. All right, he's also got mannequins, but I'm not excited about that. I want a monkey. Give me the monkey. Thank you very much. And I'm going to equip that guy straight away. Let's check this little dude out. I'm sorry, boxer. Look at you. How cute! We have our very own little monkey. You are adorable. That is awesome. Thank you, Laramore. I'm more excited that you had the monkey than I am that you had the mannequins. <laughs> All right, let's go up here. Is there anyone hiding up in here somewhere? We are still looking for these dungeons. This place is huge. So I'm guessing dungeons are down, but I haven't found anywhere that you would be able to go down yet. So let's uh, keep looking around. Oh my gosh, there's a chicken. Look, there's a chicken. I have never seen a chicken before. Can I, hello chicken. Are you friendly? What's the deal? Why are there chickens running around? <laughs> Give me a little chicky. Can I, can I take you? I can't, I can't pick you up. No, you're just, you're just running around. Look at them all. There's chickens running around all down there. Let's, uh, Let's go see if they do anything. Can I? No, I can't do anything with them. They're just, they're just another item. That is super cool. Look at the little chicken trying to jump off the ledge. But I can't actually pick him up or anything. It's a bit of a bummer. Oh, looks like we found some more traders. I can see a little scissor shop up here. So who's this? This is Ravenu. Hi. <laughs> Can I interest you in a gently used beard? If you get nits from her, I'll give you half off your next purchase. <laughs> That's pretty funny. I don't want a beard. I think I'm, I think I'm good. So these are just some uh, different hairstyles. I don't know if they're the same as what's in the startup menu or not. Oh, we got dreads. We can, we can have dreads. That's not bad. I don't actually mind that. And what do we got for beards? All right, so we can have we can have the good old bangers down the sides. We can have a bit of a, a mustachey thing. We can have, oh, a goody, nice one. Uh, we got a big bushy beard with some little beads and things like that in it. That's pretty cool. I actually don't really mind the dreads. I think they're kind of cool looking. <laughs> so we're gonna run with those. And we can change her ears as well. Oh, hang on, I gotta get rid of the dreads so I can see her ears. What do you mean I can change her ears? Ooh, it just gives her the earrings at the top. Well, there's no point in really doing that because you're not gonna be able to see them once I put her dreads on. Awesome stuff. All right, let's confirm that one. Thank you very much. We will enjoy our new dreaded hairstyle. What else you got in here? Nothing really I would like. All right, there was another trader here, I believe. He's got food. There's a little foodie sign. I'm gonna take that one. Thank you. I might actually take your hair sign as well. I'm sorry, I know, I'm just a big old thief. So who we got in here? We got Thirsty Joe, Sally, and Henry. 
All right, so I'm guessing Thirsty Joe and Sally are just having a, a drink. I just said a PB, that's personal best, at the squat rack this morning. Good on you, Thirsty Joe. No wonder you're thirsty. And Sally, do you have anything to say? Don't you just love turnip juice? You can practically taste the better carotones. Well, I don't know, because I can't actually find the turnip juice. I've been looking around everywhere. If you guys could tell me where it was, that'd be extremely handy. How you doing, Henry? You got some turnip juice for sale in there, do you, buddy? You know what tastes even better than turnip juice? Turnip juice after an early morning workout. Ooh, we got some turnip juice. A pirate's favorite drink restores a little bit of health and mana, and we also got some minor healing potion, some minor mana potion, and some swiftness potion. So I'm gonna buy a whole heap of this, because I don't actually know how many they wanted me to return with. There we go, we got 31. That should be plenty. Oh, she only wanted five. <laughs> so that was a little bit of overkill, but that's all right. Um, which direction did we come from? This direction. Okay, so there is another door here. Is there anyone in here? Ooh, this is two. Hey, how you doing? Going to the dungeon? Hold on, I think there's a waiver for you to sign. <laughs> so that's basically him telling me that it's dangerous, but I think we finally found the dungeon. So, are we just going down? Awesome. They look cool. I'm gonna take that. Thank you. It's like a stand up, there you go, it's a slim dungeon cage. All right, down we go. You're gonna have to be careful in here. We're just looking for the captain. So far, so good. Are these? No, I think these are normal brick blocks. I'm just checking everything out, trying to work out what I wanna steal. <laughs> ah, I just loot everything, I can't help myself. They actually might be gray. I'm pretty sure the ones we have are cream. Dark stone brick blocks. They are, they're different blocks. Huh, well there you go. Still going through, no worries. And this looks, oh, I was gonna say like a dead end. I think, uh, I think there's still some more stuff. Might take those scrolls of teleportation actually. Thank you. See, it's always handy to look in the wardrobes. You never know what you will find. What is through here? So these look like cells. Ah, oh, there is someone in here. So this is Fenmore. Hey, buddy, we found you. Sadia sent you to rescue me, didn't she? Well, Captain Pickles isn't down here. Trust me, I've looked everywhere. Come along then. Let's take you. We gotta return you back to Sadia. She's been worried sick. All right, so we're gonna return to Paul's grave and give him some turnip juice. Hey, I know turnip juice sounds gross, but pirates drink it a lot to avoid the scurvy. You just kind of get used to it after a while. Anyhow, not a bad start. Can you come back later? We'll need more. All right, he's gonna give me 1,570 XP and 65 gold. And he also looks like he's actually going to give me turnip juice. Is that turnip juice or are you giving me a vase? No, nope, he gave me a turnip juice back. We could use some more turnip juice. Hey, don't look at me. You know how hard it is to get the pirates to RSVP to things? Alrighty, well I, I bought heaps. So I've actually still got like 25 or 26. Thanks, I'll stay here and do another taste test just to make sure the juice we have already isn't tainted. Woohoo! So it's obviously going to complete the quest straight away because we've got it on us. Nice and pungent, just like we like it. Complete that quest. All right, so he is all sorted. Hi, Captain Sadia. We found Fenmore for you. So I guess, seeing as this little block here is all lit up, that she wants us to place him there. So we can do that. Let's uh, grab you and place you. Um, do we want him to be facing her? There we go. Place him there, yeah! Return to Captain Sadia. Sure, no worries. Yeah. Fenmore, there you are. You piece of walking shark bait. <laughs> Funny story, turns out Captain Pickles was never in the dungeon. He just wandered off like he does. 
and I'll need your help to find them. Fenmore is worthless as a billiard table on a brigantine. Come back when you're game. All right, she's giving us some XP and some money. We will accept her quest straight away now. Captain Pickles wandered out of the fort again. Do me a favor and find him, for he's got himself in trouble. Last time he wandered off, he nearly started a war with some natives. All righty. Captain Pickles is holed up somewhere on the island, probably in his thinking cave. Please find him. It's like losing an arm, not having my first mate. All right, we'll find him. So he's in a cave somewhere on this island. Ha! Huh. This could be interesting because it's actually quite a quite a large island we are on. All right, let's go exploring. I'll have a look around and see if I can find him. All right, so I scooted home and I grabbed some copper ore. So we are now able to complete this quest down here, but I can't find Captain Pickles. I cannot find him anywhere. I have literally ran around this island like a gazillion times and I honestly can't find him. And from what I can tell, it actually looks like Captain Pickles is a monkey. So if you have a look in the top left there where it says return to Captain Sadia with Captain Pickles, he looks like a monkey, but I cannot find him. So if you guys find him at all, make sure you pop it in the comment section below because I definitely would really like to find this guy. And I honestly just have no idea where he could be. I've looked down every little hole. I've looked along all the sandy ledges and I just, for the life of me, I just, I don't know where he is. So we are going to complete this quest with Master Gunner Morgan. Ah, thanks to you, we've got a fighting chance should the Dragon Queen show her mug around here. Grant you still need to be tested. Come back when you're ready for some fun. She's gonna give us some XP and some monies and a scroll. What's the scroll for? Recipe for ship cannon, okay. Ahoy there, land lover. Oh, how I wish Captain Brinebeard was still about. He'd see through this nonsense of going after the Dragon Queen's treasure, he would. She'll come after us, she will. And with us being down a cannon, go on, gather the materials and I'll show you how to craft one. Alrighty. That's a spirit. You're not so bad for a swab. Well, thank you. Craft and place a ship cannon. Alrighty. So, how do we... Oh, do I have to learn it first? I need to learn it. Bring that guy down. Learn that one, and then how do I go about crafting it? So you need one log and four copper bars. Alrighty, we can do that. Alright, I have your cannon for you right here. So let's just place that one like so, I'm guessing. Yeah! There you go. Hey, well done. The recipe is yours. When you're game, come back and I'll have another job for you. Oh, she's got another one. All right. These cannons, they are, they can be a bit dicey, you see. Lots of pirates take to tossing their trash inside, causing the cannonballs to blow up for they launched. Be a mate and test her out for me. <laughs> I don't really know if we want to now. Jeez, that's a good one. Take aim at the scurvy dogs and let loose. All right, so I guess she's talking about we gotta fire it at those guys there. All right, fire. Boom. You're gonna take him out? No, it's just gonna make him angry. <laughs> oh, it didn't actually beat him up at all. All right, take those guys out. Ho, ho. It feels good to hear the roar of cannons again. Almost make me wish the old sea dogs around here really do get to steal in the Dragon's Queen Horde. So we got some more XP and some more monies. So that is all done there. And then I also crafted up the copper bow that Hassan wanted. So here we are, I have your bow. It's beautiful, thank you so much. You really are everything they say you are. He's gonna give us 2,355 XP and some money to complete that quest. So the only thing that we have left to do on this island and the only NPC that we have not found yet is actually Captain Pickles. 
and that that bums me out. I just I can't find him. So, but when I went home, I also crafted up one of these little letter boxes. So I'm gonna travel home and we're gonna place that one down. All right, so where should we place this one? I think probably about here should look good. And do we have any mail? No, no mail right now, but that is all right. I think I'm actually gonna have to leave this episode here today, guys. I have had so much fun exploring this new update with you. Stay tuned, we definitely will go back through and find everything there is to do, check all our mail, start our creative world, and yeah, I'm super excited. So thank you so much for joining me again, and I hope to see you all again soon. All right, thanks guys, bye.